Well, we are here for you this evening with a warning for parents. Local health officials say cases of pertussis, also known as whooping cough, are on the rise. Nick Simon spoke with the Livingston County Health Department and has more tonight on what parents should be looking out for and ways to reduce the risk of catching this infection. Nick? Sherry, Siobhan, county health officials tell me that they've seen close to 50 cases this year and at least 13 since the start of the school year. And those are just the ones that get reported to doctors. Serious cases can lead to long hospital stays, major lung damage, and even death. Symptoms can look a lot like the common cold at first, but if a cough lasts for more than a week, that's when it's time to call your doctor. Early treatments are available, and a round of antibiotics can normally fend off the worst of it. And there are vaccines for pertussis, so make sure that you and your child are up to date on all your shots. But they can wear off over time, and they won't completely prevent you from catching it. Rates of whooping cough had been at an all-time low during COVID-19 pandemic, but because the two diseases are spread the same way, so wearing masks and washing hands worked well to keep it down. But that's ended in most places, and whooping cough has come roaring back faster than anything else. We have things like chickenpox, mumps, measles, etc. We are not seeing large increases in those numbers in our community. You know, we certainly want every child to be up to date with all the vaccines, but we're just seeing more of pertussis than our other um, cases, other vaccine preventable cases. And even though Livingston County was the one that put out the release, health officials tell me that this has been a growing problem for our entire viewing area, and anyone who thinks that they might have it should reach out to their doctor, even if it's a minor case, because it helps them track the problem for the whole area. Back to you.